This brings us to the end of the final ceremony today. I now have the pleasure to invite Mr. James L. Michel, President of the Republic of Seychelles, and His Excellency Mr. Narendra Modi, Prime Minister of the Republic of India, to move forward and deliver their statements to the press. Yes, Sri Narendra Modi, Prime Minister of the Republic of India, ladies and uh, gentlemen. Your visit, Prime Minister, is a testimony to the special and privileged relations between our two countries. It is a pleasure and an honor to host you. We have shared historical and cultural affinities. They underpin our relations. They have grown over the years and encompass a vast range of activities. Today, India is a valued and strategic partner for Seychelles. Everybody recognizes India's footprint on many facets of our economic, social, and cultural development. We have an exemplary partnership in the defense and security sectors. This is very much reflected in our fight against piracy and the joint patrolling of our oceans and also the training of our uh, defense personnel. The four agreements which uh, have just been signed in the military field as well as hydrography, renewable energy and air services will provide renewed platform for our two countries to strengthen further our relations. We are very encouraged by the willingness of the government and people of India to work with us in the context of the development of the blue economy. This is an area that holds great promise for our nations. The blue economy is all about ownership by regional states of the resources in our ocean, around our islands, and our coast. India is a leader and Seychelles looks to India not only at the bilateral level but also regionally and globally. Both our countries have a shared interest in the security of the Indian Ocean. Our relationship also extends to mutual support to each other when it comes to international issues such as the reform of the Security Council and India's support for the cause of small island developing states. Mr. Prime Minister, you have invited me to visit your great country. I thank you very much for your kind invitation, which I accept with great uh, pleasure. It is always a great experience to visit India, to visit incredible India. India, a beautiful country, where its unity is woven in a tapestry of diversity. 
I look forward to meeting you in Delhi in the course of the year. In fact, let us remember that the ocean that laps both our shores is a bridge that unites us and our aspirations of shared prosperity for our peoples. Thank you for spending some time with us. I do hope that we shall have the pleasure of welcoming you to our shores in the not too distant future. Thank you, Excellency. Thank you, President and Michel, for your kind words. I'm deeply touched by your extraordinary hospitality. I regret that this is a very short visit. I would have loved to stay longer. Anyone who visits this wonderful country will find it hard to leave. Short it may be, but this visit has been very productive. It is no surprise that Seychelles is my first destination in the Indian Ocean region. We regard Seychelles as a vital partner in our Indian Ocean neighborhood. Our relationship is unique and special. It is founded on deep sense of mutual trust and confidence. It is marked by a spirit of respect and equality and enormous goodwill and warmth. It draws strength from our shared values of democracy and inclusiveness. It is nurtured by a common purpose, progress of our people and peace and prosperity in the Indian Ocean region. Made impressive progress. It has shown that size is no barrier to the scale of achievement. This visit and my conversation with President Bissell have reinforced my conviction in the strength and the importance of this relationship. Our security partnership is strong. It has enabled us to fulfill our shared responsibility to advance maritime security in the region. It is a privilege to be a partner of a social in the development of its security capability. Today, I am pleased to announce that we will be giving one more Dormier aircraft to Seychelles. Later today, I will have the honor to launch the Coastal Surveillance Radar Project. This is another symbol of our cooperation. These steps will enable Seychelles to secure these beautiful islands and the vast expanse, expanse of border around them. Seychelles will also continue to make an enormous contribution to the safety and security of the Indian Ocean region. Our agreement today and hydrographic survey adds a new dimension to our maritime cooperation. I thank Cecils for their confidence in India. We also hope that Cecils will soon be a full partner in the maritime security cooperation between India, Maldives, and Sri Lanka. President Michel, and I also underline the importance of com comprehensive cooperation in the Indian Ocean region. We expect support for a more active and productive Indian Ocean Re Region Association. 
Our development partnership is also a strong pillar of our relations. Our agreement today on the development of infrastructure in the Adamson Island gives a strong boost to this partnership. We are pleased to be a partner in development of human resources and capacity building in Sessels. I indeed, Sessels is one of our largest partner in this area, particularly human resource development. We intend to expand this further in the future. Sessels is a leader in advancing the concept of blue economy. We also believe that the ocean economy is vital to meeting our future challenges. Today, President Michel and I have agreed to establish a joint working group to expand our cooperation on the blue economy. This cooperation will increase our understanding of marine ecology and resources. We will improve our ability to harness new possibilities of the ocean in a sustainable and balanced manner. This is a major step in advancing our scientific and economic cooperation. We stress our support for expansion in our modest trade and investment relations. We are confident that we can activate especially as patients look to a future in which information technology and services play an increasingly important role. I also express hope that patients will be able to quickly utilize the committed $75 million in the grants and credit in accordance with this, its priorities. We deeply value the close and warm ties between our people. Welcome the launch of direct air service to India by air vessels last December. We have decided to grant free visas for three months to the citizens of Sessels. We will also extend to you the facility of visa on arrival. I thank President Michel for his government's consistent support to India in international forums. This includes the endorsement for India's permanent membership of the United Nations Security Council. We have strong convergence of views on climate change. We are two nations that are vulnerable to its impact and we are deeply committed to combating it. We trace our shared commitment to strong national action. We also call for a strong and ambitious global effort, especially from the developed world on climate change. I express our consistent support to the position of the small island developing states. Equally, renew India's strong commitment to our partnership with Africa. Our relationship is a powerful example of warm friendship and productive partnership. For India, this relationship means a lot. This visit has reinforced the special warmth in our ties and taken our strategic partnership to a new level. I am grateful to President Michel and the people of Seychelles for this. I look forward to the visit President Michel to India at the earliest. Thank you, President, and thanks a lot, and thanks to people of Seychelles. Thank you. This brings us to the conclusion of this morning event at State House. We would like to thank you all for your attendance today and thank you all for your wonderful support in ensuring that this solid partnership and friendship between our two countries keep moving from strength to strength. I wish you all a good day.